wow, see, I'm definitely an alien because I can sit tea laying down. Today's tea spill is going to be very exciting because I don't know if you guys knew it, but today is actually Chinese New Year. And if you aren't familiar with that, it is actually the year of the rat this year. So I don't know what's going to be inside this chest, but I'm guessing it's gonna have something to do with the Lunar New Year. Are we gonna get a rat tail? All right, guys, let's click this chest. Oh my gosh, we're opening it. What's inside? Secret treasure chest, there's secret treasure. <gasps> you found a magical chest with 2020 Lunar Rat Ears. Oh my gosh, we're gonna put these on right now. Oh my goodness, look at this fashion. Do I look like a little rat? This is so cute, oh my gosh. So we officially have a new accessory for the Chinese New Year. Happy Year of the Rat, everybody. As you can tell, I'm going through some sort of a fashion crisis right now. I don't know what look I'm going for. Half of me is stuck in Halloween mode and spoopy mode always. And oh my gosh, my kettle is boiling. We are actually making some tea to spill, I guess. Can we spill it for real? Okay, we're gonna make some tea. Get off, I want the burners off, help. Okay, all right, we're gonna do some antioxidant green tea. Oh yes, wonderful. Why am I, oh, I should probably be standing up, I guess. Oh, okay. A splash of cream? Okay. Oh my gosh, can't they tell I'm trying to get to a tea spill? Okay, fine, fine. We'll spill a little, a little sugary tea. There we go, people. Whee! Oh, I, I can't, I can't, I literally cannot spill the tea. It literally will not let me spill the tea. All right, let's get out of this mad land. Let's go to Twitter. Our first tea is about to shake all of you royals to your core. And of course, it's by Bam It's Doodles. Also guys, we are planning on filming the historical Royal High video soon. We wanted to give you guys time to create some stuff for the hashtag. And I'm already getting so excited at the creation. So guys, that is gonna be filmed probably this weekend, if not very, very soon. So send your ideas before we film to hashtag historical RH. They need to be historically accurate. But back to the tea about Ash. It looks like there is a new Royal High figurine by Jazzwares and it's of Ash. Oh my gosh, and he has his tart. So Limey said she bought 12 boxes off of Amazon and ended up getting Ash in one of those boxes. Okay, okay. okay. you get this thing with it. I'm, I'm not really sure. sure. So the item that it gives you is a creepy cupcake by Roblox and oh my gosh, I actually really like this. Do I think it goes with Royal High? No, because I wish we could put creepy accessories on our cupcakes. But that is still some major tea. We check in your stores, guys. Ash the Butler might be in your local shop. But let me know, what do you guys think about this item? Do you guys like the items that they pick to go with the Royal High toys? Because I've actually opened some. As you guys can see here, this is from my latest unboxing of Royal High toys. And all of these items do not have any Royal High exclusive items like other ones yet. So we're coming up on our next little bit of tea here. We have a tweet from Ocean Orbs who is kind of talking about what we were just addressing with the in-game items for certain figurines. If the new, new Roblox, Roblox toy has an XXX to come with them, them. What, 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 what would it, it be? be? Tell, tell me which toy would it be that you think would match that toy. toy. So I actually did come up with some ideas that I think are pretty good. So if you guys would like to hear them, here is my list. I did tweet it out too, you might have seen it. So I thought going from left to right, a great accessory for this character would be a drama or a director's chair. You know what I'm talking about? So in film sets, sometimes you will see these folding director's chairs. So I thought it would be great to have an accessory where you could sit whenever you wanted. Listen, I told you guys, I am tired. So a chair where I could sit anywhere would be perfect. I had an idea for this character here and I thought, what if we had the comedy and tragedy theater mask, either one or both of them together? And the comedy tragedy mask has been used in theater for a long time, so I think it fits. And then last but not least, we see the Leah Cupcake Maker. I'm just calling it Leah Ash because I think it looks like Leah Ash and I think this character would be great to have an apron accessory with it. And look at this, Barney tooted us for once and she said she loved my idea. So what do you think guys? Do you think that these have a shot of getting in the game? You guys go ahead. Oh wow, see, I'm definitely an alien because I can sit tea laying down. I am the true tea spilling queen, but guys, 
to Barney if you like my ideas and you want to see those get in game. If you have any other ideas, let me know in the comments or on Twitter. Oh my gosh, I have to get up. I forgot to do my login reward. Whoa, I almost ruined my life for this tea. There we go, four days in. Now I know you guys have been anxious to see some more BT as we're gonna call it with no, no S though, sorry everyone. So we're gonna check out some more amazing screenshots from Beism on this Valentine's Day build. I know you guys are all so excited about. Remember to follow Beism for all of that BT. So Beism, I think, is our grass queen now. She shared another beautiful gif of underwater and the grass moving. Here's a close-up. And here is the full look, and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm already kind of thinking that going underwater could be a cool camera effect for some shots for movies or maybe for your outfits. So just keep that in mind, people. We are getting very good selfie advice here. And this was just posted not that long ago, maybe like 15 minutes ago for me. Did you, Did you really, really think I'd been a day by my current obsession? Do I hear angels? I don't know why, but when I look at these screenshots, I swear I hear magical heavenly music and I feel the rays of sunshine on my skin. So we're getting another look at some amazing heart detail that is just built into the build here. I love all the little ways that hearts are snuck in. So we see some here, right? Very did there. Oh my gosh, look, there's some more in the fence at the top of the fence. <gasps> and we're getting another good look all around this map. So we're getting some angles now. We see an angle here. Is this where we enter? I see some street lamps. And of course I see a gazebo over here, a waterfall. So many beautiful places. I can't wait to go. Leave a like if you're just way too excited to go and check it out. Whoa, I zoomed in way too close. This is not my best angle. There you go, a little bit less scary. We're gonna go to Earth and check out some more Valentine's tea, guys. There is another sneaky little tea hidden on the map for us all to see. some valentine is that a word can we make that a term what's our valentine's tea term gonna be let me know in the comments if you have a better one but there is a heart on top of what looks like a christmas tree and it's right next to lizzie's beautiful memorial so i think we should go take a little peek all right so here we are on earth we see our original little tea over here the cupid's arrow and sure enough, so here is Lizzie's memorial. If any of you guys would like to go to Lizzie's memorial and leave a flower, I know that this wasn't in the Earth update originally, but it was added a little while back. So you guys can come back in here with no problem and leave a flower. This will teleport you there. And then right behind that is the tree. So I don't know if this is giving us a tease. Maybe every day before the update, they're gonna hide something else to do with Valentine's Day in the server. I have no idea, you guys, but I'm definitely gonna be keeping my eyes peeled from now on. So just for fun, let's just see if there's any effect to me touching this heart. I'm gonna guess no, it's made out of wood. Yep, cannot collect it, cannot interact with it. It is just sitting there, so interesting. Okay, guys, I'm flying around. I don't think I see any other tea right now, but let's keep our eyes peeled on the server, guys. Tweet really got my gears turning, so let's talk about it. I believe, I believe that the Earth, Earth is just, just a placeholder place 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 world. I've, I've been suspecting this for a long, long time. time. Because because how how long 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 so that's actually a pretty good theory because come to think of it, this does kind of seem like the transition realm now in between all the new places that we get. Do you guys think that Earth is gonna disappear once we get the Valentine's realm? <gasps> oh my gosh, wait, is Earth disappearing again? Let me know, people. And I guess this is a conspiracy corner. Do, 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 do. Because we have another conspiracy here from Ashley who said, wouldn't it be crazy if the Valentine's update is a rework of Divinia? And that's why it's going to be here to stay. I can't read. Be here to stay? Okay, I feel like we need a tinfoil hat accessory. How else are we gonna live through all of these conspiracies? Who's watching? Who's listening? Who's taking our tea? We need the cafe back. Can we get some tea about the cafe returning, please? Toot. Barney. Well guys, you don't have to toot her because Barney is spilling some tea directly for us. This, this is, is why, why I'm not a graphic, graphic designer. designer. Closet, Closet RP is going to turn it into a map for teleport. Whoa, we have hand drawn 
by Barney herself. So she was talking about this being a teleport realm. You guys remember the old teleport realm where you could go to both of the different games from the same lobby and it had the fountain. All right, well, check this out. So let's pick apart every part here. So there's the apartment. We do see some colorful buildings. So we don't know if those are gonna be for shopping maybe. I'm guessing that's what it could be. Ooh, so there is a path to the Royal High Castle. And it also is next to an ocean. Oh, the ocean goes all the way around. There is spotlights next to this path. This also kind of reminds me of the Autumn Realm, how we had the different pathways, a road that left out all the way to the ocean, a park entrance. So, BSM kept tweeting aliens live in parks. I think this is the park. So, oh my gosh, you guys, what if this is where the university could go? Oh my gosh. Now, right at the end of the road, we have palm trees as filler objects. Guys, this is getting me so excited to think about what the future of the game could look like. So now that we have seen a cute little sneak peek, a great drawing from Barbie, how excited are you guys for all these projects that they're working on? I don't know when these are coming out, but I definitely would be excited to see some more areas to explore. I feel like every new area they add just means that many more areas for you guys to make content in and have new experiences in so I'm all for it. So really quickly I wanted to show this gorgeous concept and I did see Call Me Bob share it on Twitter, Night Barbie, and it's called the Black Rose Gown. And I wanted to show you guys this by Damien Art because I love the concept so much. And everyone, please go tell Damien how talented they are. Look at this beautiful, beautiful design. And again, I'm not saying this is for Royal High. I'm just saying this concept is so beautiful and I find it so inspiring. And also this is the kind of Valentine's vibes I'm going for. The dark, elegant, mysterious Valentine's vibes. So just out of curiosity, what set would you guys design if you could pick any set? Would you go with the pink, the cute, the lovable route? Would you go with kind of the dark and elegant route? You guys know, I made a movie called Dark Valentine, so that is my aesthetic. I wanted to let you guys know here and now, I do have a collection planned along that theme for Valentine's Day. It should be ready before February 1st. That's what I'm hoping for but keep your eyes peeled, people. I mean, I might as well do the wheel, right? Let's just see. Prize wave two we're doing. You know, we just we just gotta check for T at the wheel, right? What if I got a new item? Wouldn't that be everything? Oh, no T here. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for more great under chin close up angle shots of my beautiful lashes. I know that's what you're here for. Hit a like if you think my lashes are gonna flutter your screens away. Goodbye, humans. And a big thank you to all of my channel members, all of you spicy tacos, all of you tea spillers, all of you, I guess just regular tacos too. So thank you, Renny. Thank you guys all so much for supporting me and the channel. And I actually do have private servers for channel members. If you guys just go to my community posts, all of you members, I actually have a link to them in one of the comments. So just check there, there will be links to it. So whenever there's updates, you will have a private server to use everybody thank you so much it means so much all of your support you are all such spicy tacos Woo! it can't get no hotter fish taco shrimp tacos or carne asada when i see a taco truck you know i gotta follow hey give me all of that tacos where you at i love tacos it's a fact got it tatted on my back <laughs> you know it's my favorite it tastes so